Introducing first to my right from Providence, Rhode Island, weighing in at 188 pounds, pro wrestling savior, the one, J. Introducing his opponent to my left from Columbus, Ohio. She is the leader of the Scrunchy Squad, Becca! Two tickets have been punched. Two more to go. John Alba, Sam Laterna here. It is our third qualifying match for the main event of the Vacation Land Cup. Join the conversation on social media, hashtag VLC2021. And I am just so excited, Sam, to see my best friend Becca out there. Is she really your best friend, she, John? You know what? I'm just really happy to see that her neck is feeling better. Aha, uh -huh. I sense lots of sarcasm and animosity in your tone tonight. Well, she has one hell of an opponent, someone she's wanted to face for a very long time in pro wrestling savior, JT Dunn, a former Vacation Land Cup winner himself, the very first, in fact, that Limitless Wrestling ever saw. Right you are, he defeated Christian Casanova, Danger Kid, Josh Briggs, uh, to become the inaugural champ in 2018. And one thing that you have to remember, Sam, back when he won it, there was no alternate prize. All he got to do was pick his next match. Now, very tangibly, he could have himself knocking on the door of Daniel Garcia or J.D. Drake's Limitless Wrestling Championship. Certainly. And it could be, on the, on the flip side, a bit of a changing of the guard here tonight if Becca were to get a victory overdone. Do you agree? I guess you could say that it would. As, as much as it pained me to hurt Becca last month, I, I must admit she is a very, very, very promising competitor here in New England. You're, you're talking about a nine-year veteran in JT Dunn going against Becca, who we've really only seen break onto the scene in the last year, year and a half or so, but clearly one of the most beloved members of the Limitless Wrestling roster. Absolutely. I think the audience is very endeared to her because you see her struggle, you see her, uh, you know, her motivation to succeed. And that's evident in the many victories that she's had as of late. Oh, drop toe hold to JT Dunn. She's very well studied, as you see, quickly cinching that in, trying to suck a little life out of JT Dunn here. But again, Dunn, a veteran in his own right, a man who's traveled all around New England. He's been champion everywhere that New England puts on pro wrestling except one place. That's where he is right now. Ducks the elbow. Oh, great agility there from Becca. And oh, look at she had him scouted. Grabs the hold of the legs, but a kick out at two for Dunn. Experience beyond her years, in my opinion, with that, uh, that over there. And she only has two years experience, like you said before, uh, but she's versus competitors uh, that have lots of experience, like Davey Ann. You know? I know a thing or two about Oh, yeah, her. I know. I, that's a hot topic. That's why I mentioned her. Ooh, catches him with the drop kick, sending him into the corner. This is where Becca can't waste any time. The leader of the scrunchy squad understands that she is an unprecedented opportunity. We've never seen anyone come onto the scene the way Becca has and elevate themselves into a main event position. And here she is, healthy neck and all. Throwing a scrunchie at JT Dunn, the ultimate sign of disrespect. Oh yes, the leader of the scrunchie squad is sunning up JT Dunn tonight. I like the attitude, I like the aggressiveness. Uh, as we see with that strong forearm, a series of strong forearms, delivered by Becca to JT Dunn. But a bit of a power advantage here. JT putting her into the turnbuckle. Lighting him up! I actually got a chance to speak with Becca on WrestleTe ahead of the VLC 2021, and she told me that she's seen herself, she's felt herself. That oh! gymnastics background paying off into a strong handed slip. And could she be going for that patented big boot? Yes, she hits it. You gotta act quick against a guy like Jay Tadana. It looks like she's trying to do just that. Hooks the arm. Possibly a suplex here, but again, like I said, a size disadvantage. Oh, just muscling her up. Escapes over the back. Up and over. Oh boy. Oh no, he, look at oh. a great job there by JT Dunn managing to hold on. <laughs> and there's that's where that veteran experience comes in. Oh no! Oh. JT Dunn, ruthless. Sending a message straight into your homes. 
He's having none of this from Becca. Well, Dunn has to send a message because he was away from Limitless for he a was. year. And I think that perhaps he thinks the crowd might have forgotten about him. He's got something to prove uh, since returning it, uh, returning it undeniable to face Lee Moriarty. And, and he beat Lee Moriarty. JT Dunn was not supposed to be in that match, but he stepped up to the occasion and beat arguably the best technical wrestler in the world. Now a totally different challenge here with so many stakes. And one thing you have to keep in mind here as he goes to work on Becca, you're gonna have to wrestle again later in the night. How much energy do you use? Because yes, you wanna conserve as much as you can, but you also have to make sure you get that win. Well, that's where tactics like this come in. Uh, using cheap tactics, like holding the hair, gouging the eyes, cheating, right? Saving your energy so you can expend it later if you get a victory Grabbing in the opening match. Grabbing a hold of her hair and wrenching it around to throw referee Nate Speckman not having any of that. And the one thing you have to always remember with JT Dunn, Sam Laterna, death by elbow can strike at a moment's notice. Oh, yes. On the flip side, we have seen Becca introduce the 450 splash in a devastating manner that has taken the heart and soul of everyone in the Limitless Wrestling crowd. She's throwing some forearms and elbows of her own now. And as of right now, Becca is undefeated using the 450 splash here at Limitless. She's beat Mason with it, she's beat Jody Threat with it, and she's beat Ava Everett with it, not to mention Davian. Can she beat Dunn here tonight? Oh, Becca moves out of the way. <laughs> Devastating elbow to JT Dunn. Is she going for another boot? Oh no, she's going for another you elbow. You gotta wear him down. She, this is her pattern running bulldog, but thrown off by Dunn. Really strong scouting there by JT. I'm a big proponent of scouting your opponent. Double knees to the back of the head. Did you see that? That was like a double ricochet. Her face off the second buckle and the first. JT goes for a pin, gets the two count. Falls short there. Becca knows how to muster deep. She's proven it time and time again. You might recall in her match at Undeniable against Charles Mason, she got busted open hard. Blood streaming down her face. Yes, maybe I got some of it on my hand. Maybe I did that voluntarily, but it was to prove a point that she is a fighter. She is a strong-willed competitor. I like Becca a lot, even if she just happens to be in the wrong place at the wrong time uh, sometimes. Okay, okay, yes. It, your, your dislike of her is a product of circumstance. Merely, yes. Oh, okay. Okay, John Alba, I'll give you that one. But here's JT Dunn wearing her down once again, like you said. Butterfly position there. Wrenching back. There's a lot of torque put on your spine. You're someone who's had a lot of experience with back issues in the ring. Something like this really putting some strain on your upper back. Absolutely. Anything that affects the upper back or the neck is going to uh, debilitate a wrestler to some extent or another, being that they do land on their backs and their necks a good amount of the time. But I think that Becca has something up her sleeve here. Like I said, she's ex she's displayed ooh, she's displayed experience beyond her two years uh, in the ring thus far. But again, you're talking about one of the greatest New England wrestlers ever in JT Dunn. Versing one of the rising stars in the New England scene, might I add, one of only two women to ever compete in the VLC, joining the ranks of Ashley Vox. Very true. We were going to see legit Layla Hirsch in last year's, but some scheduling changes didn't allow for that, so she is taking that number two spot. It would be a real endurance test for Becca, which we haven't seen too much from her from here during her time in Limitless. Going to the top, flying crossbody, lands JT Dunn. Back first to the canvas, and both competitors are down. Have you heard any of Becca's uh, new music? I'm really excited uh, of for this. I've this, heard it. It's this not album. all that impressive. I'm more of a rock and roll guy. Myself. The kids love it, Alba. Not the everything kids. can be ACDC. Oh, okay. Hold on here. You know Greatest. I'm a fan. Yeah. You know I'm and a well, fan. Well, guess what? You know who it is. The, the strongest selling rock and roll album of all time. JT Dunn's probably more of a rock and roll I guy. I know, I know. I'm too busy Myron Becca. What can I say? But both of these competitors are now Myron. back on their feet. It's anyone's game. Oh, JT Dunn grabbing a hold of Becca. Up, but she's Got her elbows in the out. Oh, beautiful. Breaking his face on her knee. Look at this. On her back now. Done staggering. Big boot from that Becca. Connected. Ooh. And you never know when she's going to hit that Visco round, too. One of her pattern and maneuvers here that we actually haven't seen too much from her in Limitless. Springboard stunner. He done. He is staggering. He does not feet. know what's going on. Tilt to world DDT. Rebecca rolls him over. Is Becca going to the Vacation Land Cup Finals? Oh, at two and three quarters. Done kicking out, but it's very clear from that last 
last few combo of moves that JT Dunn is seeing stars. Right now is the time for Becca to capitalize. Perhaps she can go for a 450. And, and look at it. That's what, exactly what she's doing again. You said it. She's Get up never there, girl. lost a match here in MLS Wrestling with the 450 splash. Becca going to the top. You can see Bean Town from there. But JT Dunn knew it was coming. Hanging on to the left leg for dear life. <laughs> Perhaps an act of desperation, but there's that elbow. Not quite death by elbow, but it's so lethal, it's calloused. It is, and speaking of that death by elbow, JT Dunn said that while Becca is a valiant competitor, at the end of the day, the elbow is going to be her end. But right now, it Things seems like- getting super! Oh, float over pin. Pissed off, Sam Laterna. Dunn is pissed off. He wants to punch his ticket to the Vacation Land Cup Finals. John Alba, Sam Laterna here on IWTV. Hashtag VLC 2021. Join the conversation here at the Armath Am Vet. Referee Nate Speckman enforcing to Dunn. Just to Becca trying to prove that she is one of the most resilient competitors Limitless Wrestling has ever seen. Just a month ago, a big win over Charles Mason then had her neck nearly broken at the arms of prestigious, now looking for a prestigious win of her own over JT Dunn. And now there's those clubbing blows to the back, Sam. Yeah, I don't miss how, uh, how that feels. Someone like you, uh, I really, quite literally, it ended your in-ring career, those those blows to the back. Certainly, certainly, which is why I always like to uh, look out for my friends who are in the ring. But I are think that- Are you friends uh, with Becca? I like to consider Becca a friend. I'm a big fan of her work. How does it feel to see her again stomp the mud hole by JT Dunn? Here, here's the thing with Becca, okay? And this is what you underestimate in Becca, Alba. Whenever she gets beat down, it just makes her stronger, more aggressive, more determined, as she mentioned on WrestleT earlier this week. Well, JT Dunn's got to look out here. Is stirring up for death by elbow. Ducks oh. underneath. Oh! Planting his face and... Might this be opportunity number two? There's that gymnastics background into the knees. Round off handspring, knees, but not three. My sister was a competitive cheerleader for eight years. I've seen many acrobatic moves and Becca uses it to her advantage, but tonight, again, you're going against one of the greatest to ever step foot in a limit. ring. Oh, she went for the 450 again, but done. Where? Death by oh! elbow! He's got to get it for the cover, and Becca, perhaps intentionally, perhaps not, but her momentum took her out of the ring, and Dunn is in disbelief. Well, it might be for the best that she's right now out of the ring. Frustration's certainly growing, and Dunn, what can he do? to get Becca back in the ring. Oh, he's and motioning to the referee. He's saying start the count. He'll take away, it doesn't matter, look. Oh, uh, you, come you on. What's wrong with this? A count out counts, Sam. If JT Dunn can keep her on the outside for 10 after a vicious death by elbow, he'll advance to the Vacation Land Cup Finals. A former VLC champion, or rather tournament winner, should know that that's not how you secure a victory. It's that's not an honorable victory. Blow. What's wrong with that? Count is up to six. Referee Nate Speckman monitoring the environment. Up to seven now. JT I, Dunn clearing his hands. Becca trying to stir to her feet. I certainly hope this isn't it for Becca. She's staggering to her feet. Can she get up? We're almost at ten here, people. Count is at nine. Will JT Dunn? No, Becca just gets in to beat the count and Dunn. I told you. I told you. She's not done with Dunn. No, she's not, but Dunn might be done with her. Eyeing her down. What does JT Dunn have to do next? And remember, the longer this match goes, the harder it becomes for whoever wins this thing to secure that almighty prize. Well, I don't know if Becca knows where she is right now. She might have gotten back into the ring out of pure instinct, will to win. But right now, she's unable to get back on her feet. Referee checking up on her. JT Dunn just getting inside her head. That's one thing JT Dunn does so well, too. He's so easily able to get inside his opponent's head. Again, as much as a veteran as you're gonna find here in New England, toying with Becca, virtually a rookie here. Compared to Dunn, for sure, but he should know better than to talk all that smack because sometimes that gives your opponent time to recover. Uh, the uh, Limitless Faithful here, not too fond of JT Dunn. Lots oh, of she caught him! Oh, she caught him! Oh! 
Inside cradle, almost got him. Bisco roll! Canada ball! Stiff to the cranium. JT Dunn down to the mat. Is she going to go for it again, Sam? Yes, Becca she's Stern. getting up, and this could be her time. Get up there, Becca. This is your shot to win the VLC, girl. The crown rolling back on. The 450. Does she have one more? 